Hi there, in this tutorial we'll be creating the school presentation page with the sliding out options. You'll learn how to create shapes from scratch and animate them. We'll be using the morph transition for the smooth plating effect and having created this once, you'll be able to use this template in any of your presentations. So I encourage you to watch this video till the end and follow along. And before we jump into the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Let's head over to a new PowerPoint presentation and get started. So we're now in PowerPoint and first of all, we need to remove these two text boxes. What we need to do now is to set color of the background. To do that, you would need to right click on the background and select the format background option. It should open the format background panel on the right side of your screen. Let's open the color tool, click on the more colors button. Make sure that the color profile is set to RGB. Now just select any color you like or type in the hex code for the color. Click OK. Now let's start creating the shapes. What I want to do is start by creating a shape that will visually cut the slide into two parts. Let's select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that covers half the slide. Now we want to change its shape a bit and bring the top left corner closer to the right side. But before we do that, we need to add a smart guide to mark the location where we want to bring that corner to. My PowerPoint is set up to use the metric system, so all my measurements are in centimeters. If your PowerPoint uses inches or pixels, no worries, so you don't have to be precise here. By holding down the option key, let's grab the smart guide and bring it to four and a half centimeters to the right side. This will create a new guide for us. All right. Let's make sure that we select the rectangle shape and now let's open the edit shape drop down and select edit points option. Now grab the top left corner and start dragging it to the right side. And when you reach the smart guide, just release it. Don't worry too much about being precise here. And I want to make a copy of this shape. We'll need it later. I'll hold down the shift and option keys and just move my mouse to the side. Great. Let's go back to the original shape and open the format pane now and set the line property to no line. In the fill section, we'll set the color. I want it to be white. Then let's switch to the effects panel and open up the shadow section. In here, we'll select the outer offset left option and set transparency to 80%, blur to 60 points and distance to 9 points. Next, we'll create the tabs with options. Go ahead and select the rectangle tool again. Click anywhere on the slide. This will create a rectangle shape for you. Now head over to the shape format tab and set height to 3 cm. And I'll change its width manually to something like this. Let's remove the outline. Now we need to select the triangle shape. Click on the slide and change its size to 1.5 by 3. And remove the outline. Let's quickly change the fill color for both shapes so we can better see them. Now we would want to rotate the triangle and align it to the left side of the rectangle, like so. Just to make sure that they are perfectly aligned, select both of them, open the align drop down and select align middle option. Now we need to merge them into a single shape. Let's open the merge shapes drop down and click on the union. Now it's a single shape. I want to add one more smart guide at 8.2 cm and align the shape to that guide. Now let's grab the copy of the big shape that we created earlier and put it on top of the original shape. Now select both the copy and the green tab, go to the shape format tab and in the merge shape menu select fragment option. This will divide the selected shape. All we need to do now is to remove the parts that we don't need. Now let's add some text. Select the text box tool. Let's change its font to Poppins Bold and set size to 48. You can download this font at Google Fonts or use any font you like. And now let's change the color. Now we'll select both the tab and the text. And by holding down the Option key on the keyboard, we'll create a copy and place it like so. All in all, we want to have five tabs. Let me quickly change the text on each. And now let's change the colors. Now 
now I want to group each option. I'll select both the tab and the text and press Command Option G on the keyboard or Ctrl Alt G if you're on Windows. Then I'll select all groups and group them all together. And I want to align this group to the middle. To do that, I'll need to click on the Align tool in the Shape Format panel and select the Align Middle option. Now I just need to move the entire group a bit and align with the edge of the bottom shape. Next, we'll create the elements with the text that will be sliding out. Select the Rectangle tool, click anywhere. Now head over to the Shape Format panel and set height to 3 cm. The width I want to run across the visible part of the background and to be just enough to later hide it under the shape with the options. Place this rectangle so that it starts at the middle of the first option tab. In the format pane select no line to hide the outline and set the fill color to pink. Now let's copy the shape four times and do the same for all four shapes. Now I'm gonna fill it with some content. Alright, now we just need to group each element with its content, send all five groups to back and hide them underneath the layer with the tabs. Also let me quickly add the title to the slide and the logo. Alright. Now we can go ahead and animate our presentation. Create a copy of this slide by clicking on the current slide in the left hand side panel and now press Command D. Now head over to the transition panel and select the morph transition. I'll set the duration to 1 second. Now grab the first option and slide it to the left side of the slide. Let's quickly have a look at the result. It's looking good. Now we want to do the same for the other four options. All in all, we're gonna have six slides. And that's it. Here is the final result. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more great content like this. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.